evening everyone and a very warm welcome to both members and friends. For those who do not know me, my name is Lynn Wood and I am the Secretary of the Aberdeen branch and I am delighted to welcome you all. It seems almost unbelievable that it is exactly a year since we last danced together at our spring dance in 2020. So it is a year since I have seen most of you and although I might have done a bit of skip change, I haven't danced with anyone since then. I'm lucky in that I regularly meet a number of dancers and it's always a great joy to meet dancers unexpectedly. In the supermarket, you know who you are, in the woods with my dog or walking the streets near where I live. At our Christmas dance we asked Ian Thompson, who was our band for the live dance, to record the music for our dances. And this time we've asked Susie Simpson from Inverness, who was the chosen band for our live dance this year, and she's included a couple of videos of her playing too. At Christmas, some of our committee members did some excellent work giving a background to the dance and or calling a dance for which we were most grateful. This time we've asked some of our teachers to do the same, so the committee hopes that you enjoy the variety. We also have a guest presenter, the divisor of one of our dances tonight, Lucy Mulholland from Belfast, and that might be a clue to one of the dances on our programme for some of you. We thank everyone who's contributed for the support. For those of you who attended our virtual beginners dance, Martin Mill, in his thanks, gave Fiona MacIver a super title, Editor-in-Chief and Transmission Controller. Fiona does a huge amount of work during the run-up to the event and during the event itself, so my special thanks to her. A big thank you, as always, to others on the subcommittee that plans and organises the online events, also to the committee for their support, and, of course, to you for joining us and making all the work worthwhile. So, if you're going to dance along, I hope that you've warmed up, and if you're just going to listen, I trust that you are sitting comfortably with maybe a cup of tea or coffee or something stronger beside you. Enjoy our virtual dance. Hello. Homecoming Scotland 2009 was a series of events to attract people of Scotland, Scottish ancestry to visit Scotland and remember us. To help celebrate this event, the RSCDS asked for dances to be submitted by our members worldwide that could be danced by the general public um, in their social dancing scene. The two finalists uh, were the homecoming dance devised by Anne Tom from the Helensborough branch and the grass market reel devised by Tim Wilson from the San Francisco branch and three other dances. The Valentine by the Persia branch 45 years on, the Kirkcaldy branch, and a capital jig, which is one of my favourites, devised by Tina Mackay from the Delaware Valley branch. And it is dedicated to the Harrisburg Scottish country dancers. And of course, Harrisburg is the capital of Pennsylvania. And hence, five dances, 2009, including the homecoming dance, um, was published. Now for recapping, a capital jig. It's an 8 by 32 bar jig and it starts off with the ones and twos set and rotate. The ones will finish in second place facing up and the twos will finish in top place facing down. Ready for right shoulder reels. At the end of that you are all on your own side of the dance, okay? So the ones you now set and turn right hand three quarters and finish side by side facing your own side. Put your left hand out and do a left hand wheel. So the first lady will be dancing a left hand wheel with the second couple and the man will be dancing a left hand wheel with the third couple. And you will finish in second place on your, own, on your opposite side of the dance. You repeat that 
set and turn with the right hand three quarters finish side by side and this time you will be finished facing opposite side again put your left hand out and dan dance a left hand wheel you will finish in second place on your own side ready to start dance again so here's a quick recap set and rotate right shoulder reels on the side set and turn right hand three quarters left hand wheel set and turn right hand three quarters and a left hand wheel enjoy the dance <laughs>
stance on this lovely uh, spring programme is The Real Australian Ladies, which is from the Glasgow Assembly book. I know that I've had many happy memories dancing this dance, it's got a great tune, and this dance actually taught me which was my right hand, and you'll see why that is later on. So just let me tell you a bit about the dance. Um, so from the book it tells us that the dance was devised by Robert Campbell in May 1967 for Jean Conway, Elma C, Lorraine Dial and Margaret Gray of the Newcastle College's Strasbay and Real Club in Australia. And I know that Elma C is still teaching and examining and has also written a few dances of her own, some of which you may know. The tune which accompanies the dance is also called Australian Ladies and it's by William Ferguson. It's a pipe march which predates the tune and it certainly makes you want to get up and dance as you'll soon hear. So, on to the instructions. The Australian Ladies is an 8 by 32 bar reel for three couples in a four couple long wise set. It begins, first couple you're going to cross over giving right hand, cast off two places as second and third couples step up. Then once in threes you're going to dance right hands across once round. First couple lead up to the top, cross over and cast into second place as the three step down and twos and ones you're going to dance left hands across. The second half of the dance, next 16 bars, flows beautifully but everyone is moving and this is where if the trick is if in doubt turn right or go right. So twos and threes, you're facing your partner, you're going to set and cross over right hands with your partner. The two ladies on the men's side and the two men on the women's side face each other, set and cross over giving right hands. Face your partner, set and cross over. And then on the sidelines, the two ladies facing, the two men facing, set and cross right hands. So you've just worked your way in a square round, uh, around the set. First couple, you're gonna cross over giving right hands and cast to your right. So first lady will be dancing around what would be first man's position while well, first man is dancing round what would be third lady's position to finish between the first and third uh, couples facing each other up and down the set. Cross over giving right hands and cast to your right to finish in second place on the opposite side. Cross right hands again and cast to your right to finish facing each other up and down the set. Cross and cast to your right again to finish in second place on your own side of the dance ready to begin again. That's Australian Ladies.
spring dance was chosen, I asked to call Autumn and Appen. Autumn and Appen, I danced first in Oban, um, which is in Argyll, very close to Appen, and the tune that's played for it is The Hills of Lorne that was composed by Charlie Hunter, who was the then um, conductor of the Oban and Lorne Strathspey and Real Society and it is their signature tune and it's played at the beginning of all their concerts and my mum happens to play in the Oban and Lorne Strathspey, Strathspey and Real Society and um, so it really is, it do, really does remind me of home this dance. Um, so it was written by John Drury in 1982 and published by the RSCDS in their Diamond Jubilee book in 1983. The title was suggested to John Drury in 1968 by Marie Jameson at the memorial service for Mrs Isabel Stewart of Fashnacloy, who is a co-founder of the RSCDS and Appen is where she is from. Appen's a lovely little village and if you go just north of Appen, there is one of Scotland's most romantic and photographed castles, Castle Stalker. It's a lovely place to visit. You've got Loch Linney and Loch Creeran, and it's close by Bender Loch, and it's on the way to Fort William. However, Fort William is one of the wettest places um, in Scotland, so if you do go, remember and take your brolly. Ottoman Appen, a John Drury dance in the RSCDS book 31. It's a 4 by 32 bar Strathspey. Threes and fours are starting on the opposite side and there'll be two chords so you can cross on the second chord. Twos and threes, Petronella turn into the centre and set to the partners. Twos and threes, turn partner three quarters by the right. Twos and threes, right hands across halfway, finishing with second man, third lady in promenade hold facing the men's side, while the third man and second lady in promenade hold facing the ladies' side. Ones and fours are going to Petronella turn in the centre, while the second man, third lady promenade out and up on the men's side, while the third man, second lady promenade out and down on the ladies' side. Ones and fours set to their partners, while the other couples cross between them. The ones turn halfway to the right to face the ladies' side in promenade hold, while the fours turn halfway by the right to face the men's side in promenade hold, while the second man, third lady promenade down the ladies' side, while the third man and second lady promenade up the left, up the man's side. All promenade clockwise, one place to finish in a square set, Third man, second lady in first place facing down, ones in second place facing in, second man, third lady in third place facing up, fours in fourth place facing in. The ones and fours are going to dance half a lady's chain. The twos and threes are going to dance half a man's chain with an extra half turn so that the second lady and third lady finish on the partner's left. All set facing the centre. All eight hands round to the left. All dance towards the centre and cast to your right, finishing twos, fours, ones and threes on the sidelines in a long wise set again. Ready to start again. Autumn and Appen.
My name is Morag Barclay and I've been invited to call the next dance on tonight's programme. The dance is MacLeod's Fancy, devised by our very own John Drury. Just before I give you the instructions, we can take a little peek into the origins of the dance together with the very recognisable music for the dance. MacLeod's Fancy was published by the Society in Book 33 in 1985. It was also published in hardback in 1986 in a book entitled Dances of an Island Clan. As I said, the dance was devised by John Drury and it was inscribed to Duncan MacLeod of Glasgow. Duncan MacLeod had been chairman of the society from 1976 to 1979 and for some time was director of summer school. The tune used for this dance is Captain William MacLeod's Fancy by William Marshall. William MacLeod was born in Madras in 1759 and died in 1819. He retired from the 2nd Battalion of the Black Watch in India with the rank of captain. So with the history lesson behind us, we can enjoy the dance. MacLeod's Fancy is a four couple jig with ones and fours as the dancing couples to begin. Ones and fours set on the diagonal one and two. Then we have the meanwhile. The first man and the fourth lady turn right hands halfway in the centre of the set, dance out their own sidelines and cast to their original place while the first lady and the fourth man cast behind their own lines to begin and turn right hands in the centre, all finishing in your original place and face ready for a reel of four. Dance a reel of four on the sidelines and again finish facing in positions as if for a reel of four. But this time, Turn the person you're facing by the right hand that will take the ones and fours into the centre of the set to join left hands in a St Andrew's cross formation. All set in St Andrew's cross formation on bars three and four of that phrase. Release left hands in the centre and continue turning the person you're joined right hands with releasing at the end of bar 23 to finish with the first couple dancing down to third place and the fourth couple dancing up to second place. The last eight bars, the ones and fours set across the set, then cross over with the ladies dancing between the men and the dance finishes with a half figure of eight out the ends of the set to finish in the order two, four, one, three. Enjoy MacLeod's Fancy. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, wasn't that just lovely? Thank you very much to Susie for that music and to Morag for telling us a bit of the history. We don't have a break in tonight's programme, so what you can do is you can go and pop on the kettle or go and top up your glass and we will have an encore of MacLeod's Fancy. Enjoy! dance is from RSCDS book 52 and it was devised by Linda Henderson of the San Francisco branch. Linda is originally from East Lothian and she devised this dance for the Sunday morning class at Scottish Weekend, a workshop at Timber Ridge Camp in West Virginia. Linda, as I say, is from East Lothian originally and East Lothian is associated with the legend of the saltire being adopted as Scotland's national flag. And the saltire is flowing throughout the weekend at Timber Ridge. And in this dance, corners pass and turn, and the double triangles uh, depict the diagonal cross of the saltire. So here we have Trip to Timber Ridge, a 32 bar reel. First couple, giving right hands, turn once round, cast off one place as the twos step up. First woman with the twos, first man with the threes, dance right hands across and finish facing your first corners. First couple dance corner pass and turn with first corners, pass right shoulder in the middle, dance corner pass and turn with second corners and at the end the first couple dance towards each other, pull back your right shoulder and finish in the middle back to back facing the opposite sides. Twos, ones and threes dance double triangles and in the last two bars first couple using Paddy Basque dance out to the second place on your own side and it finishes with all three couples dancing a circle round and back. Trip to Timber Ridge
gentlemen. The next dance on tonight's programme is Shahanian. 64 bars to spay, 64 bar reel for four couples in a square set. It was devised by Hugh Thurston and first published in 1971. Shahalian is, of course, the mountain in Perthshire that overlooks Loch Tummel. And Graham's favourite fact about Shahalian is that in 1774, Sir Neville Maskelyne, who was then the Astronomer Royal, used Shahalian to calculate the Earth's mass. And according to today's data, he wasn't far off in his calculation. My favourite memory of Shahalian is that it's the dance that was used when I was auditioning for the London Den team with no recap. You just had to get on with it. But I'm going to give you a recap. So the dance starts with the ones, twos, threes and fours dancing the chorus. They start facing each other and dance half a grand chain, one step to each hand and then dance Highlands Katish setting. Repeat back to place. The men finish back to back in the centre of the dance, ready to dance a Highland step, normally the rocking, while the ladies petronella one place on anti-clockwise and set. They petronella one place anti-clockwise again and set. Every change places right hand to bring the ladies into the centre of the set and dance half a left hand wheel the ladies back to your own place, turning your partner right hands into your own side of the set. Once, two, threes and fours, dance the chorus. At the end of the chorus this time, finish, ladies joined up right hands for a right hand wheel with your partner on your left hand side. Every dance, a right hand wheel halfway around the dance for four steps. The ladies dance in front of their partner while the men dance behind them to advance for two steps and then repeat that move. The men dancing in front, the ladies behind. Repeat those eight bars wheel for four steps, advance changing over and advance changing over and finish back in your own place, facing each other, ready to dance the course in quick time. Four skip change of set, step with a half grand chain and turn your partner twice or barrel or propel pivot turn. Repeat back to place. Ones and threes set advancing for two steps, turn the person opposite for, with two power basque and both hands and flow into a uh, circle one shine to the left. Twos and fours repeat. Ready to dance the chorus again. And at the end of the chorus this time, you're going to dance Shahalian reels for 16 bars. The men dance diagonally into the lady on the left, on the right hand side, anti-clockwise, while their partner casts into their place. 16 bars of Shahalian reels to finish the dance. Enjoy Shahalian. <laughs>
next dance is Links with St. Petersburg. It was devised by Malcolm Brown, who has strong links with our Scottish country dance community in Russia, as he has visited there on several occasions and also has taught there. The dance is a jig and it has a great tune, Krigella Helasis by William Marshall. The dance begins with the first and second women, first and second men, dancing set and link. And you then join hands with your partner in the middle. One's facing up, two's facing down. And you dance set and link again, which brings everyone to the opposite side. First couple, followed by second couple, dance down the middle for three steps. The men dance <clears throat> below their partners at the same time raising their arms and the women dance underneath the arch that's created. They then dance back up to the top with the second couple in the lead and the second couple face out once they're in first place. The first couple stay in the middle, in second place. First and second women, first and second men, turn once round. The women with right hands and the men with left hands. And first couple face down. They then turn right round with the third couple. The women this time with left hands and the men with right hands. And the first couple finish facing first corners. First couple dance set to corners and partner. And when they get to the point where the woman is between the third couple facing up, and the man between the second couple facing down, they dance a petronella turn to own sides. Links with St. Petersburg begins with first and second women, first and second men, set and link. Enjoy!
I'm Sheila Bean and I'm going to call the next dance and it's Swiss Lassie. It's a 32 bar reel and it was devised by Rosie Betch in memory of her good friend Judith Binder who was a keen Scottish country dancer and she danced in Zurich, hence the name Swiss Lassie. The original tune for Swiss Lassie is Brumley Bray. Brumley Bray is a long road in Elgin and it's a steep hill and it was a favourite place for picking brambles. This tune was written by William McPherson, a native of Elgin, who died in 1974, aged 55. So here's the instructions. First couple, they dance in towards each other and then cast off to third place. The twos and the threes step up in bar three and four. The twos and the ones then turn one and a quarter times by the right hand to finish in a line of four up and down the middle, the men facing down and the ladies facing up. After the reel of four, second man faces first lady's position and first lady faces third man's position and followed by their partners, they dance halfway round the set and then pick up the threes to advance and retire. And then the last eight bars, the twos and the threes, the bottom two couples, they turn their partner right hand halfway, join up with the other couple and dance right hands across halfway. And then the twos and the ones repeat that formation. So that's a right hand turn with your partner halfway, pick up the other couple and dance right hands across halfway. And finish in the order, two, one, three, ready to start again. So enjoy Swiss Lassie with Brumley Bray as the original tune.
Belfast. The dance was devised as we were celebrating our 60th anniversary. It is made up of good basic formations reflecting simplicity and challenge. I chose the Espanol formation for the progression of the dance. It had been devised by the late John Drury and I have always admired his creative ability in devising dances. The music composed by the very talented Marian Anderson complemented the movements of the dance beautifully and contributed to the popularity of the dance. We have a very active Belfast branch with seven weekly classes suitable for all abilities. We have good teachers, inspired and some of them tutored by your Aberdonian lass, Elma McCausland. I bring greetings to the Aberdeen branch and fellow dancers from our chairman, Evelyn Redmond, and members of the Belfast branch. City of Belfast, 3 by 32 bar Strasbourg. First couple, dance half figure of eight, round second couple. First man and second lady, giving left hand. First lady and second man, giving right hand. Turn one and a quarter times to form a line of four across the dance in second place. First couple come in back to back. First couple and second couple dance the reel of four across the dance. First couple finishing at first corners and second couple continue to dance to first place. First couple set to first corners, set to second corners and finish on the sideline between the corners. All three couples set and first couple giving right hand cross to second place on your own side. First and third couple, dance the Espanol to change places. The dance finishes in the order two, three, one, ready to dance again from the new positions. City of Belfast. <laughs>
Murcha is a 48 bar jig written by Betty McKenzie as a thank you to Joan Rennie, the teacher of the Nurka group who made Betty and her husband David feel so welcome when they moved to Nurka in 2003. Nurka is on the Costa del Sol in southern Spain near to Malaga and the arches in the last eight bars of the dance represent the five big arches on the old road welcoming visitors into Nurka and they were the inspiration for the dance. The dance is written for five couples in a square set. It begins with the fives in the middle who turn right hand for four bars and left hand for four bars, while the ones, twos, threes and fours in promenade hold dance clockwise once round. After this point, the rule is to always have man facing lady and lady facing man. The fives and the ones dance right hands across and the fives then dance round the ones by the right shoulder, fifth lady round first man, and fifth man round first lady. The fives dance across to face the threes with the lady in front and the fives and the threes dance left hands across. The fives then dance round the threes by the left shoulder, fifth lady round third man and fifth man round third lady. The ones finish facing the fours, again lady facing man and man facing lady. The twos, fives and fours dance left shoulder reels of three across the dance with the fives and the fours passing left shoulder to begin. The fives finish that facing the ones. The ones, fives and threes then dance right shoulder reels of three up and down the dance with the ones and fives passing right shoulder to start. Fives finish that facing the fours. The last eight bars of the dance are the arches. The fives begin making it by making an arch to dance out as the fours dance in under the arch. Fifth lady turns under her partner's arm to change places so that they finish on the correct sides. This is then repeated by the other couples. Fours making an arch for the threes, threes making an arch for the twos and finally the twos making an arch for the ones who finish in the middle ready to start again. Welcome to Nurka starts with the fives turning right and left hand while the others promenade clockwise once round.
Deal Among the Tailors. The Deal Among the Tailors is a very old dance. I was able to find instructions for it in quite a few dance manuals from 1822, 1872, 1895 and 1900. But although these instructions all agree with each other, they're quite different from the version we know. They go, first lady and second man down the middle and up, first man, second lady down the middle and up, first couple down the middle and up, ones and twos, poussette. How it changed from that to the series of figures collected by Mr. or Mrs. Davies and published by the RSCDS in 1947 remains a mystery. Personally, I'm glad we danced the version with settings and alamons in, but I suspect there's probably been a mix-up at some point. Part of the reason the dance was so popular is that it's set to a cracker of a tune. Some people attribute the tune to James Scott Skinner, but he was born in 1843 and the earliest publication of the tune was in 1802. That was in a collection of tunes compiled by Robert Petrie, a fiddler from Kirkmichael, not far from Pitlochry. He didn't compose it though, as it also appears in several other collections from around the same time. Regardless of how it came to be, the tune became an international hit in the 19th century. It was obviously popular in Scotland, but it was also popular in Ireland and in England, where it is mentioned by name in not one, but two of Thomas Hardy's novels. Settlers then brought it with them across the Atlantic to play it all across the North American continent, where it's also known as the Devil's Dream, or even as Satan's Nightmare. Apparently, the tune is even played in the Scandinavian fiddle tradition. In Scottish country dancing, the tune is also played for the Eights and Reel. Possibly the most interesting piece of trivia is that on board the British Navy's HMS Hecla, which carried Admiral Parry's 1819 expedition into the Canadian Arctic, there was a barrel organ to provide entertainment for the crew. One of the eight tunes on barrel number five was The Devil Among the Tailors, so it's very likely that British Navy sailors danced the deal among the tailors to a steam-powered barrel organ during the 1819 Arctic winter at the north end of Baffin Island. As to the origin of the name, there are quite a few theories. The dance is certainly named after the tune. As to the tune, the most common theory points out that Deal Among the Tailors is also the name of a tabletop game where a ball is swung from a wooden pole to knock over a set of skittles. What this has got to do with the tune, though, I don't know. My favourite theory for the tune name is that a fiddler's bow, when playing the tune, goes up and down as if it were indeed a sewing needle in the hands of a tailor possessed by the devil. Enough trivia, anyway. On to the dance. The RSCDS version, anyway. First and second couple join hands on the side and set, then dance half right hands across. Repeat that to get back to your own sides. First couple dance down the middle and up, staying in the middle, where the second couple joins them to dance a two couple alamond. The dance ends with twos, ones and threes, circling six hands round and back. Enjoy. <laughs>
what a great evening of music and dances we've had. I'm Tina Mosley, I'm a member of the Aberdeen Committee and I'd like to say a big thank you to all the people that have taken part. One of the great things about Scottish country dancing is the opportunity to hear musicians playing for dances. So many thanks to Susie Simpson for providing the music for tonight. The callers who so bravely appeared for us are Isabel McMillan, Emma Olsop, Fiona McIver, Maura Barclay, Gary Cool, Angela Young, Jean Martin, Sheila Bain, Lucy Mulholland, Louise Masika and Josh Masika. Most of them are Aberdeen RSCDS members, but we were delighted to have had Lucy Mulholland from Northern Ireland appearing tonight with the dance City of Belfast, which she devised. A lovely dance, and one which I particularly enjoy. Hopefully we can get back to dancing soon and have that on a programme. Thank you, Lucy, and all the other callers. Other thanks tonight go to Fiona McIver for putting this together with her amazing tech skills. We wouldn't be able to produce these virtual dance offerings without her. Our branch secretary, Lynn Wood, has worked hard on organising us and ensuring these events are well publicised. Thank you, Lynn. Finally, I'd like to thank the audience for zooming in. It is good to know that our offerings are appreciated. Stay online and you will have the opportunity to switch on your camera and microphone and have a, friend, a chat to your friends in the dancing world. Thank you. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, the next date for your diary is Friday the 30th of April, where our Monday night class teacher Louise is going to be taking an online Scottish country dance class. So that's Friday the 30th of April. Pop that in your diary and watch out for the link coming out. Thank you.